How you doing, folks? My name is Trinus Henderson. You're tuning into the famous Living Realm Network. Divine powers are always working for us because we're doing right. Listen, in this video, I'm about to tell you four deadly generational curses that are blocking your manifestation. And if there's something that you want to manifest and you don't have it yet, nine times out of ten the reason why you don't have that manifestation yet nine times out of ten is because one of these generational curses okay see the problem is it ain't you it ain't you that is the problem as to why you can't get the thing that you want to manifest most of the time folks it's just generational curses it's upbringing it's things that were instilled into your mind way before you could become awakened to realize I can actually manifest what I want. I don't have to wait on it. You know what I mean? Way before you started to think like this, there were things put into your subconscious mind called generational curses. Okay? Now, in this video, what you're going to do is you're going to you're going to know, get to know these curses. Okay? And at the end of this video, these curses will be broken only if you stay tuned to the end of the video okay the one thing that you have to keep in mind about the universe the universe I always tell people use the analogy the universe is like a big genie it's like a big genie it shows no favoritism to anybody anyone only thing you have to do is be thinking in the right direction that's the key you have to be thinking in the right direction okay the universe don't know about the past it don't know about past tense only thing the universe know is now and what is going to manifest for you in the future the universe is like a baby the universe is like a baby you know how a baby people forgetting things a baby don't even remember you a baby don't remember who you is you look at a baby and be like hey hey baby be like huh be like that that mama the baby be like huh? who, who that? i don't know what that is huh soon as you pick them up start crying yeah, yeah. Because a baby don't think about the past. So with that being said, now I want you to be completely honest with me. If one of these generational curses resonate with you and you are guilty of the generational curse that I'm about to tell you of all four. Listen, if you're guilty of that curse, make sure that on this video you press thumbs up. Okay, press thumbs up on the generational curse that you are guilty of. Okay, so the first generational curse is that you have to release the habit of past thinking yesterday thinking okay so many people wake up every single day and the first thing that comes to their mind is stuff that happened yesterday old cold case files that they can't do nothing about once upon a time i used to be like that once upon a time i used to wake up and think about everything that i did last night Oh man, when I went out, did I do it right? Did I say the right words? Did I piss somebody off? Oh man, I wonder what they're gonna think about me uh, last weekend. Oh man, you know what I mean? Last weekend ain't gonna be like this weekend because they did this and she did that. And, and, and Ray Ray and them and Bum Sheik and them, they said this. You know what I'm saying? I always used to think about the past, okay? So the first thing you gotta do in order to break a generational curse that's been embedded into your subconscious mind for a long time is you gotta release past negative, past tense thinking. Anything that happened in the past, anything that happened yesterday, it gotta go. No longer can you get up in the morning and, and worry about stuff that happened yesterday. I feel so good nowadays because I woke up this morning and I'm fresh, I'm clean. I got a new slate. I ain't got no guilt upon the world about anything that happened in the past. There's nothing the universe can do about the past. And I don't want anything in the past to resurrect into my future. I don't want to, I don't want to raise Jesus from the past, you know, into the future. He already now. You know what I'm saying? So you gotta, you gotta, you gotta stop thinking about negative past tense thinking. You gotta clear your mind and be receptive to the now and in the future now another thing that ties into with releasing old negative past tense thinking is behind the scene negative self-talk okay behind the scene negative self-talk how many of you are guilty of this i told you press thumbs up don't lie 
Be, be honest. Be, be honest with the universe, folks. Okay? It's all about being honest, you know, so that you can be able to move forward. Okay? Forgiving yourself. Okay? But how many of you, when nobody's around, you talk junk to the universe? Or you talk junk about somebody else? Or you get mad about a situation? You know, the situation is over now, but you get in your car. You're going down the highway, and you're like, <laughs> ask yourself this. Who are you talking to? Is it somebody in your mind? Is it that actual pers person? Is it your boss? It, are they there? Are they present? Can they hear you? Is there any ghost around you? Who's there? Nobody. Listen, folks, the more you continuously have behind the scene negative self-talk guess what it's gonna do for the things to come in your future exactly it's gonna perpetuate the same experiences in the future because like i said the universe is like a big baby sometimes it don't know no better it don't know no better google ga, 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 ga. it don't know no better so if it hear you talking about things from the past or you getting mad or agitated or frustrated when nobody ain't around negative behind the scenes self-talk the universe is gonna say oh okay okay they like that. They like that situation because they feel it. Because the universe is all about feeling. You know, if you see you feel frustrated about something, it's like, oh, okay, okay, okay. That's good. That's good. That's good. Let's give them some more of that frustration because I can feel it. I am the universe. Okay? The universe just goes off of feeling. When you wake up in the morning and feel good about your day, you can guarantee you're going to have a good day. You can guarantee when you cash in tonight and you go to bed, you're going to be in the head a good day. Trust and believe. So get rid of the negative behind the scenes self-talk and stop talking and thinking about anything that happened in the past. We got to start the day from a fresh new beginning every single day. That's why I got so much energy. That's why I'm so charged up every single day. People be thinking about the past and stuff. Be calling me, man, you know me, man. Man, I don't even want to hear it. Don't call my phone. I, I, I ignore a lot of people's phone calls because I know the only thing they're going to talk about is something that happened yesterday. I'm in today. I'm in the now. Speak up, let your voice be heard. Leave a comment below and say, I'm in the now. Speak up, let your voice be heard and say, I'm in the now. Okay? Four deadly generational curses that block your manifestation. Here's the second deadly generational curse that's been embedded into your subconscious mind. And a lot of people wonder why they cannot attract money. Do you know why a lot of people cannot attract money? Let me step back and then run into it. The reason why a lot of people can't attract money is because they're always thinking about how they gonna get it. I know so many people that, that used to be like me. They always, bills, 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 bills. Soon as they get their paycheck. Oh, bills, 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 bills. Oh man, I can't spend this. I can't go in this restaurant and get me nothing to eat because bills, bills, bills. Oh man, I can't go in this service station and get me no Gatorade because bills, 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 bills. Oh man, I can't use this gas to go see my family member to stay on the other side of the city because bills, 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 bills. So many people think about bills so much that it, it stagnates the flow of money. Totally unconscious of really what's happening when they put in the thought about worried about bills into the universe. I remember one time I had a $300 phone bill. And some of y'all know that because y'all be subscribed to my channel. If you ain't subscribed to my channel, make sure you subscribe. But in my video uh, a couple weeks ago, I said something about I had a $300 phone bill. Now, I didn't know I had this $300 phone bill. But guess what I did? The reason why I didn't know because I ain't thinking about bills all the time. I'm just using my phone like a human being. I'm just using it according to however I want to use it. Now, whatever the bill comes up to be in the future, so what? The universe will put me in a situation where I'll be able to pay it, okay? And I did, okay? But you cannot always think about bills because they, they ain't never gonna go away. <laughs> I mean, they never gonna go away. You could be 12, 13 years old up until you die. They never gonna go away. And then when you die, it's still gonna be bills for your family members to pay. They never gonna go away. So. This is what, you know, this is what blocks the flow of money. This is what blocks the flow of abundance flowing into your life. One thing, always thinking about bills, okay? 
Another thing that blocks money from flowing in your life, and, and a lot of people have this generational curse. You know, it, I wasn't the only one that was guilty. Press thumbs up if you were guilty of this one. Always thinking about the cost and prices of things. Woo! Don't you know, money will begin to flow in your life and you don't even really have to think about it. If you, if you released, if you released the habit and the generational curse of always looking at the bottom of the shoe when you pick it up and you like it. <laughs> I remember when I used to go, you know, into the uh, shoe store and I used to try to buy shoes. I looked at the shoe, it was nice. The first thing I did, I did it in like 0 0.005 seconds. The first thing I did was flip that shoe over and see what the price is. And that was gonna determine whether or not I was gonna buy the shoe. It didn't have nothing to do if I liked it or not. It was all about the money. I was always worried about cost and prices. Cost and prices. How much does it cost? Oh, girl, that sound good. How much it cost? Girl, that purse look good on you. How much that purse? Where you get? How much it cost? Oh, you went to Michael Kors? Oh, yeah. I, yeah, you walk away, you be like, mm, Michael Kors too high. You already done blocked the flow of money. Saying things like, oh, it's too high. It's out of my tax bracket. That's expensive. Oh, this is overpriced. The truth is, folks, nothing is overpriced. A Bentley ain't too expensive. It's just that you don't have the money right now to afford it. That's it. You know something that you can do in order to activate the flow of money? Now, when you go places and when you see things that you cannot afford, the best thing you should do is just like what we should do with uh, uh, negative self-talk and stuff like that, behind the scenes negative talk and stuff. Don't even say nothing. Don't even say nothing. When you see something that you can't afford, if you know you can't afford it, the best thing you can do is don't even say nothing. Because if you say something like, oh man, you know, that, that's too much for me. You are, okay, you don't put it in the universe. She said it's too much for her. So the next time I bring her around this product, this 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 lipstick or lip gloss, whatever y'all girls be wearing, <laughs> lip gloss, you know. Next time I bring her around this, I'm gonna make sure that she say the same thing because she feel like it too much. So I'm gonna put some, I'm gonna put just a, not enough money in her pocket so that when she get around this again, when I bring her around and she say, it's too much. But when you close off access to putting out those negative words into the universe, when you stop it, how much that cost? $599? I see y'all next time. You got to get in the habit of not saying nothing. When it comes down to negative self-talk, behind the scenes self-talk, don't say nothing. Don't say nothing. Keep your mouth closed. Keep your mouth closed because every word is being recorded in the universe. Okay? The third deadly generational curse that you have been guilty of, and if you have, give this video a thumbs up if you've been guilty of it. The third de uh, deadly generational curse is doubt and worry. Okay? Doubt and worry. I have, I'm a, I'm a life coach and I coach people about the law of attraction every single day. And I get emails. You know what's the number one email I get? Trinis, where's my manifestation? I ain't got it yet. When is it gonna come? I'm like, yo. Then I got some people that be asking me, um, you know, they be buying my courses and stuff. They be buying some of my courses. The first thing they ask before they purchase this course is, Trinis, does this really work? Oh my God, oh, Gina, Gina, Gina. Damn, you just stagnated the flow of the, what? You just killed it, it's deadly. Okay, the whole thing about manifestation is speaking it and believing it, okay? Before you even buy my course, you gotta believe that it's gonna work for you first, okay? Doubt and worry keeps a lot of people in a generational curse. A lot of people want to use a secret law of attraction to manifest something that they want to manifest, but they can't never use it properly because they doubters. They non-believers. They worry. This ain't how that works, folks. You got to believe in the invisible forces of the universe if you want to see magical miracle money come to you. Otherwise, it's not going to come to you if you don't believe it. Okay, so you, you got to release all doubt and worry. You got to be able to speak it, believe it, let it go. I don't even want to talk to y'all no more. No. Huh? Oh, I 
I just speak it and believe it. Oh, I didn't even, I forgot. Non-resistant, baby, non-resistant. I just, I just spoke that and believed it. Oh, okay, okay, okay. 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 Speak it, believe it. You're going to receive it. Let it go. Okay? No doubt and worry. No doubt and worry, folks. No condemnation. Don't condemn the universe. Don't condemn the universe of its magical power. Once you speak and believe it, you got to know it's going to work. This is the almighty power of the universe. Look at, look at these trees. How, how the universe do that? Because it's magical. It's powerful. It's wonderful. Okay? <laughs> now, the fourth, the fourth deadly generational curse that blocks your manifestation. Okay? Now, this is key too. The fourth deadly generational curse that blocks your manifestation is negative visualizations. Okay? Negative visualizations. How many of you have been guilty of just coming up with your own storyline in your head, visualizing about something that ain't even happening? Now, this is a generational curse, okay? Because, you know, we didn't know that we were doing this until now. We are guilty of it, okay? This is a generational curse. A lot of people sit around every day and they dwell on something that ain't even happening. Dwelling on the eviction before you even at the date that they said you're gonna get evicted. Dwelling on getting pulled over by the police on the holiday before you even get to the holiday. Dwelling on negative things. Basically, basically what they're doing is, is creating the future for you. Okay, so in order to break this daily generational curse, you got to get out of a habit of thinking and dwelling on negative stories that ain't even happening. You got to think forward. You got to see and you got to start seeing in your mind all the things that you want to happen. You got to train your mind to think when you wake up in the morning, all the things I want to happen today. If you're in a position right now at your job where, you know, it feels like, you know, you're not going to make it through. Everybody hating on you. Boss going to fire you or whatever. You're in a relationship right now. You feel like, oh, my husband, he, I don't know. I don't know. I'm, I might not be the one he like. All, you see how you thinking? You know, oh, man, I don't know if we're going to last. We might get a divorce. This net. Listen, you automatically creating the visualizations of what you want to happen in the future. You can't think like that. You got to see yourself. Oh, my husband about to take me out to dinner on Friday. I know it. I just know he is. I can see us walking in a park, you know, holding hands. Yeah. You know, it's summertime. We about to go on a trip this summer. Yeah. If you in a negative situation, you in a bad situation, don't go down it. Don't go down to the hoods and the ghettos of your mind life because yo, them gangsters and robbers of thoughts and they're going to rob you and they really going to take your man from you. Okay, yeah, them gangsters ain't no joke down there on 110th and 8th Street in your mind, the ghetto. Okay, don't go down to the ghetto. Okay, so one thing that I did on my journey is I changed my visualizations. I started visualizing about everything that I wanted to do, everything that I wanted to do. And it makes you feel so weird because it's like you still be around people that's always thinking about all the things that they don't want to happen. You know what I'm saying? And so you become like this big dreamer. It's like, oh man, I'm, I'm thinking about going here and doing this, buying this, going there, getting this new car, doing this, da 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 And you just start manifesting all the money that you need to support all those positive um, visualizations in your head. Okay? Now, I want to say this before I get off of uh, negative visualizations. Women. Fellas, go over here and sit down for a while. Women. Let me talk to you. Now, y'all are the best emotional people alive. Y'all can manifest faster than a lot of men, which is why most of y'all be the breadwinners most of the time because y'all know how to tap into y'all feelings and y'all emotions. And the universe basically is uh, activated by feelings and emotions, okay? But one thing, listen, one thing I want my Ram team women to stop doing, okay, is... Stop going into your mind when you feel the emotion about something that's going on about your boyfriend or your husband or your best friend, okay? Stop going into your mind and creating stories based off your emotions that's not true, okay? Because what that's doing is perpetuating a negative situation. It's perpetuating the argument. It's perpetuating you to be uh, upset when you get around that particular person. 
It's perpetuating your future for you. And what this will do is it will eliminate, it will eliminate a lot of negative experiences that you're having in your reality, you know, where it's like you have to fight for your uh, dignity again. You know what I mean? So uh, to all my beautiful women out there, women on the rim team on my channel, make sure you do not let your emotional powers take you down to the hoods and the ghettos of your mind creating your own story your own assumptions and opinions that ain't even true okay open your mind back up to thinking forward open your mind back up to to thinking forward okay now with that being said now with that being said now make sure that you have pressed thumbs up on the deadly curse that you resonate with and it's all about being honest folks i was guilty of like four of them that's all of them okay but speak up and let your voice be heard below we're gonna confirm it right now in the universe i pray i pray to god i pray to the universe that who's ever heard this message it resonated with them i pray that your generational curse is now broken okay so speak up let your voice be heard leave a comment below look write your name before you comment this write your name comma i have broken these curses okay so for instance me i'm gonna write mine trennis comma i have broken these curses i'm talking to myself basically so you're gonna talk to yourself you can say i have broken these curses okay comment that below to confirm that all four of these daily generational curses have been broken all right now everything that you want is going to manifest run this video back over if you got to watch it again it's super powerful my name is Trina Anderson, folks this is the famous living room network make sure you subscribe to my channel by clicking my face icon up there that's me yeah click that face icon oh hit the bell notification too if you have not already hit the bell notification beside the subscribe button down there that way you can be notified every time i upload new videos every single day share a video to one of your friends today because you know sharing is caring each one teach one if you share a video you give somebody a knowledge and you help somebody else life out it might come back to you in the form of somebody said it money check out one of these other videos right here in the meantime i'll see you in the next video peace